the 97's podcast manze welcome this is the first ever episode tunafanya i uh, mean i feel happy manze na feel fit na sikia njui the kalala nasema ga njui nasikia muktu nasikia umtiti ah nasikia fit sana manze and uh welcome what up mko fresh eh mimi niko happy mimi niko excited to take at this Where new like journey you? Inaka itakuwa amazing manze. Yeah. I can't wait to fix episode 20 episode so. Na, as in na, na feel so sijui na feel aje. Wala si ufanye ma podcast na feel ku sound ka. Lakini ni longa <laughs> no ni long awaited manze. Hii kitu tumepanga for a while. As in it, it may take time lakini finally so mimi nasikia fresh mimi niko juu hivi. Eh, One of my happiest days. Unasikia kitu ile jina yako high school lilikuwa gaje? Gani ya? Ile ile sijui Dani Celeb. Hey, kitambo manze uki na pale Facebook. Nilikuwa na account manze ilikuwa imeandikwa ga MC Dani Celebazi. <laughs> Alafu hapo kwa description ilikuwa imeandika <laughs> an uplifter of talents. The plan manze na kuoneaonea hivi. Eh hey, na kumbuka manze nilikuwa na confident of Frankie Wayne. Eh. Hey. Eh hey, nilikuwa gam dead little time. Hadi hadi captions zangu ni, ni ma malen moja moja hivi za za, za Drake kazi nasikia ngoma ya Drake afuneka caption dead alafu mm. najua <laughs> moja venye picha yako ya kitambo na katum shamba mm. lakini caption ya Lil Wayne a little nigga never falls <laughs> mm. wallahi eh mbona Wayne sasa nilikuwa na nilikuwa na feeling vibe Lil Wayne ni dead alafu nilikuwa nataka kuna dread but singe as a time ulikuwa ulikuwa feeling unafanana eh ah nilikuwa na chiki tu naweza fanya hiyo sauti yake ile you know me eh ebu 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 Every kind of young nigga get money anymore that on the devil and me say what you let you know in moja ule flani you see ash papi ash papi yo kind of young nigga get money even om nakanyagia talent bro kama yako wala niko serious you know talent uko apeleka facebook eh as you join facebook when nilingia kitambo ili kwa kitu kama ah naweza sema 2010 hivi hakuna ndakuangalilia unadanganya watu hapa unaangalia nani yako ama yake ya ya munti ya hiyo yangu hiyo yangu 2017 2015 2015 16 hiyo yangu ya kitambo 2016 nilifungia account 20 ah 2014 2015 2016 ah, 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 moja bro na kumbu ni kitambo bwana wewe yangu saamua tu moja Uh, nilimaliza primary school 2012 2013 hivi 2014 mimi ndio facebook form 3 eh ama nini niko mjinga au ulikuwa ocha ukishasema tu wewe ni wayala so tunataka unajua. kila mtu aseme shule yake ndo tuje nani alikuwa ocha <laughs> si tuseme <laughs> sema eh. okay ni sawa ni macho <laughs> lakini na, na kumkanga picha yangu ya kwanza nikaeka facebook nipiganga kwa mlango sijai amini kwa nini ulikuwa unaanza ufunguzi wa maisha? <laughs> He was opening a new door in his life. Nilikuwa <laughs> philosopher. <laughs> nilikuwa kwa uncle yangu na background zake zote ya mlango nilikuwa kali. Eh hey, wallahi. Nikaenda na jacket flani nilikuwa nimebaiwa na shosho yangu 250. Kapoza hapo kwa mlango bro. Hiyo picha bado uko hadi leo. Stacky watoto wangu waione. They delete. Eh hey. hey, mimi nataka wao ah, kunengine ni shay uma lips. Lakini <laughs> nilikuwa gani hiyo ni yenye bado ulikuwa umevakofia na nyuma? Hapana wewe pia unapenda kutesha sana. Azi nilikuwa tu ilikuwa tu good vibes. Azi unachiki ukiwa teenager unaga unataka kufukua vitu mingi. Unataka kusikiza Lilwe, unataka unajua unasikiza Lilwe. Na azi niko na pressure mingi. Lakini ukiangalia picha za Trevor za Facebook za kitambo alikuwa mshamba dead. Trevor alikuwa na alafu alikuwa na zile nguo kama za walimu wa CRE. Wala wala maticha onduti fulani wenye. Eh. Huko sha mahoho tu mali huko butula tu ndani kabisa. Jioni bado anaenda kuuza maziwa tu na hizo nguo. Au ilikuwa matusi? Ah ilikuwa kweli. Ilikuwa matusi. Hizo picha tukileta saa hii una eh lakini umebadilika my son. Tuleta tadi zako? Ah zangu leteni. Lakini mna feel hiyo time wenye mse alikuwa na kaivu. Wenye ulikuwa na kaivu. Una feel ukirudishwa hiyo time na ile unajuka nayo saa hizi utakuwa different. Ah na mbali kabisa. Sasa hii nimekuladi exposure brav. Mimi stacky anrudishe. Kwa niache tuna hiyo knowledge yangu hapo. Wasimirudishe. Mm. Ah. Aizo zilikuwa siku za kupigwa. Oh, Walai. Eh yes. Lakini lakini Facebook ilikuwa I think ndio ilikuwa connection ya say your time. Haiku kwa lifestyle iko imeingia bado. Tugo, tugo. Huh? Huyu anajua tu go. Ulikuwa unajua tu go? Azi. Ate ni ufala. Yeye labda ni abusia. Kulikuwa na eh matako. Kulikuwa na flani likuitwa nga tu go. Eh. Tu go ilikuwa ya kuchat. What? Ah, driver nyinyo na simkona. Hakuna msanganya tu go. Ilikuwa kala blue. Kiplani. 
So oh, inamaanisha mjipi ya wap trick. Eh wap? Wap trick. Wap trick najua. Yako ilikuwa ku download ma game na mango. Mm, eh hiyo najua. Tubidi, tubidi najua. Na mjui aje to go. Ah mzee si tulikuwa naweza alafu kulikuwa na ngili kwenye jako market time iko toka operamini. Ah acha na operamini. Ile hiyo ndio ilikuwa latest yo time. Operamini imekuja juzi. Lakini operamini ilikuwa gambaya. Ulikuwa unaona watu levi na pop up ngwati. Ilikuwa na pop up zingine no. Alafu unajua kama kama uko na kaduda unajua mimi nilikuwa naingia nini? Nilikuwa naingia online na kaduda. So kwa kaduda uwezi hakuna hiyo app ya Facebook. Na ina pages. So unaingia kwa website. Unaingia kwa operamini alafu sasa una login in Facebook through operamini. Okay. Eh inakuleta ki ki kini ni tagul to lile flan uh-huh. ipointa kinono una scroll nayo sasa oh. eh nilik, eh, nilikuwa gachini mtu wangu singe kati ya demo lai ay 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 kwa ni kwa ni una kwa ni cv yako ni simu eh hey. mm. kwa unafunga simu kwa kichwa ukienda hii ndo simu yangu hii ndo simu yangu <laughs> as in siko watu presentable lakini hiyo ndo point sema sura hata kudanganishia simu vitu zingine usidanganishie simu ah, kwenda mna kaka mko wa andi mko watu mna kama goti zangu but compared to you Siad tulikuwa mbaya. Mimi kwanza tulolko laka. Mimi kwanza na ble mzazi wangu kwa tech nili, nilichukua ya, ya kufanya hizi mavitu. Mi nikiwa mdogo siko yeye na showground. Nasikia ati watu wameenda showground, watu wameenda showground. Manzi mimi siendi kwa hiyo samaki sijui ati samaki nusu mtu. Inaitwa kama ai kuna mermaid. Hiyo manzi azi mimi nasikia sijui watoto wengine wameenda. Hadi farasi uko na kupanda. Manze hizo vitu hizo sijui za ngamia si kwa idu hizo vitu man but ni sawa siezi mblem sana jo alikuwa single pare mimi against time yenye nili interact na mzazi unaona venye sio anaenda kama nowadays naangalia gani kenda malika garden city ama nikaenda hizo malls mali kuna games za watu wii naangalia mtu na budaki ama madhaa amewapeleka tu a day out mimi time tulikuwa tuna interact na buda yangu ni tuki travel na kwa socks nimembebea bangi zake Hiyo ndo two time two tulikuwa two friends mimi na baba bangi. Ah si unajua hizo time ilikuwa kama nafika stage fulani mnasimamishwa alafu mnasachiwa sachiwa alafu tena mnaendelea. As in tambo ilikuwa gaukifika mali kama na kuru kuna police station mnaingia mnasachiwa. Eh mkienda tena base nyingine. So usachiwi. Eh sasa mimi ni youngster nilikuwa kaka kijana kadogo tu hivi. So mimi sikuli nini makali ya serikali. That was one professional of the nini. Ah hiyo ni kali. Hiyo ni kali. Huo ni elchapo. Budaka budaka alikuwa na kuingiza jela wewe. Unapatika eh anaka kwanza hata kukutoka. Lakini weka una travel na budako, wewe unaongea na budako, that was nice. Some of us are speaking to our parents now. Sign unaweza piga simu. Budango nalo sasa kumongelesha once in two years. Unajua anga hiyo? Na kuelewa. Na kuja kaka ukame. Mm. Ukisikia kuna drought, jua tumepigiana simu. <laughs> Okay okay zile relationships za once na mean one. Ah no ma ilikuwa anga no ma. Make up. Eh. No ma sasa. Lakini alikuwa but sasa hizi conversation ndogo ndogo aziko i happen. Mm. Mi budanga alikuwa kikaa kuona runinga mimi naenda bedroom. Eh nyinyi mliko na bedroom. <laughs> sasa kwa na lala nje. Ah unajua siku yetu hata kama umejama aje unacho kile yenye tunaweza slam lango hivi pa useme ti yo oh, i don't want to talk to you anymore take you one on game to zaruninga unacheki hiyo tv my son unaona yako hiyo yako kuna space yenye unaweza enda useme jubu dangu ana watch tv acha ni jifiche kwetu hakuwa na hiyo opportunity si unakaa juma ya kiti sasa kwa kuna nafasi nyuma ya kiti hapo tu unakasirikia tu hapo mpaka time ya kulala ifike mtoe meza muweke mattress kuna ile curtain fulani ya ku divide bedroom na sitting una usiwe idharau hiyo curtain ndio yangu ni curtain tu ijaye ipo jina bado inatakuwa house divider unaenda hiyo side ile na kwa garden divider na kitanda ni ya mama yako unafanya nini kwa kitanda ya mama yako kwa kitanda unaenda kusoma katikati ya kitanda na curtain but hizo nyumba za ghetto zikuwa ni bamba design adc kwetu time kumekuja wageni sasa inabidi budangu na mukoro wangu wakalie hapo kando ya bed. Sasa jua ratoa hiyo curtain fulani hivi. Mm. Wekele hapo hivyo juu. Mm. So inabidi wakae juu ya kitanda ndio viti zibaki za watu wengine kukaa. Una get? Mm. As in hapa hapa ndio bedroom, hapa ndio sitting, hapa ndio kila kitu. Mm. So hiyo experience mnakuwa nayo na mzazi ni different sana. Hakuna hakuna private time. Wase kama wase kama hatukua tumezoea at private time. Uh. Asi kuna kokatuna mse fulani ukiacha tu chakula yako mbaya hapo jikoni. Uh. Kuna tu ninja tu itapita tu nayo tu. Mimi na fila tu kupewa space ya ku grow. Space ya ku grow na manzo kunataka kukaa nje. Hapana unajua kila time time yenye mtu yana grow kuna hizo kuna hizo breaks za life anafaa pewe ndio aje understand ajue kitu anataka na vitu kama hizo. 
lakini kwa hiyo kuna option kama ukitoka shule hiyo six kuja uoshe vyombo kimbilia sijui mboga rudi wekile washa jiko there's always something to do eh hey, there's always something to do okay sina filia iko sawa as in breaks come to ndaka break za nini as in time nyumetoka chuo enda ufanye homework kwa room yako huko utarudi baadaye as in era hata release your tension ya shule una release nini mtoto mdogo una release nini huko eh? class 2 3 4 una release nini hiyo naongelea kama class 6 sasa umefika class bado una release but, nini but mimi nakumbuka juu yeah, design yeah national exams zinga mimi mi siko napenda vitu za shule basa nikifika mtaa since niko napewa kazi mingi back to back inabidi inabidi nijifanye niko na homework So ikifika matime hivi na jevya tu nimekatu chini kwa kona fulani naandika ma vitu hivi ndio nikiambiwa sijui nini nini ah kona homework jojo mzazi kitu ya ikifika kitu ya shule atakwa zile za ah sawa basi muache afanye but any time uko free is working time as in msee rada as in napata hiyo napata kitu fulani yenye mimi ni mtoi wenu mm. but mi sija kuja pa job kwanza ma first bonds mwanzetu tunafa kulipo as in mimi napanguza watu um, umezaliwa alafu nyuma yako kuna twins imagine unafa kupanguza twins mafi <laughs> Mwanzi hadi wako wa big juu mokoro wako kwa zile za unajua mimi ni job ni nini mm. unafaa kunisaidia unafaa kunisaidia fa, fa, so kila asbonuko wafanye kazi kila time uko tu mboka tu as in ukiwa home ukienda kudozu eh umebeat mse alafu unajua shida ya home hakuna break mm. ni back to back kesho same kesho kutwa same na ukona bezi unaweza hepa mimi mimi guess mama yangu na budango ilikuwa una toxic relationship lakini nime as nime ground on me notice ilikuwa toxic ile yenye madhangu kwa nataka kuenda sana far away juu alikuwa na feel already see you ready to share grow kidogo so alikuwa na kanyagizo story juu a bigger part of my life ni me to me grow different places mara tuko loitok tok mara tuko kitale mara tuko juu kwa mamangu eldoret ah, ah, iki, nini ikikwa hivyo mm. inaacha kwa travel ni wanatonga nomads ndio so mnaenda tu mnaishi tu your base Eh hey, as in no man, man. Uh, jubudangu ni anapiga vikombe town mbaya kuruka a support <laughs> akotuma dudu tu mbaya tikutuma uh, nyumbani tumetumwa school fees yeye yeah, ajali anakuja tu akotoko <laughs> nyumaji mbaya na kuna kitu fit ka mzazi anataka kujifanya aja leo <laughs> <laughs> lakini budangu wewe na bako <laughs> budangu ni kufukuzwa fee aizi enda shule akiwa soba na ngoja zake zishiki alafu sana anaingia chuo hapo anabonga na walimu sawa so, watu wanajuanga tu ni mtoto wa mlevi ndugu yangu hey, yeah. So unajua kwanza venye pombe kama kama uja kunywa na msi mwingine amekunywa hiyo mm. harufu kupiga kikuja kubongesha eh yeah. wavidu yeah. msi eh yeah. rada ngano na parambulet kila siku msi yeah, so, ona break so, the young so, ili ili ibidi ili, 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 ni learn kwa responsible as young nikiwa mdogo kabisa juu kuna time zenye mamangu alikuwa na jama na hepa like three months ayuko tu nyumbani tu ameenda so niko na ma sibling size of time nilikuwa na sister yangu na the younger brother so inabidi una uko hapo unawapeleka chuo unawapikia uji nini katika hizo so ilibidi nianze ku learn kwa responsible mapema mapema mimi kwanza na feel kama kama kuna fastbone yote kwa nyumba yote ndio sisi hapa mwenye ali contribute largely manze, manze. Juni mako kuna family big speak for oh. us speak for us <laughs> ulikuwa unafanya kazi mingi baba nikisikia story ya dad kama hari unapewa cut nikisikia story yako na feel ni kama ilikusaidia Si ulianza kuwa responsible mapema. Mm. So situation yako ina happen at home ilikusaidia. Eh ile nisaidia lakini I feel pia at some points ili ni ili ni nyima freedom ya kuwa mtoto. Eh so sikupata, sai, sikupata ku experience so kwa mtoto. Kwa mtoto. <laughs> <laughs> so unaje <laughs> Unaje kusema so sahihi wakupea chance kuwa mtoto. Ah si kuna kusamee tu hata siku mbili basi. Eh mwanzo <laughs> Kukwe tu na day tu flani inaitwa tu ki, nini adults kids day out. Tunaenda tu huko tunajichafua kwa matope. Mimi ni second born. Naona complain nini sasa? Nyamaza. Una compl- mimi ni eh, siwendo first born wetu nyamaza. First born ni kama deputy parent. Mm. Mzazi kama ajui kitu unafoku unajua. First born wetu sasa hako anatambua hizo. Ni wale watu walisema niliwasaidia kuzaa. Ni kiwa lao mayako kwa first. Na siwepi yeah. ungekataa. Kwani vile alikataa mbona ulikubali? Ro safi nilikuwa mbita kuua na nasemanga kila siku. Mm. Naona sikuzika kuna rochafu. Mhm. Walai. 
Kumbe walikuumiza. <laughs> so ah, parenting ilikusaidia positively na ikakopea roho chafu. Ah, ah, with time nimeanza ku grow, ku appreciate ku, ku vitu zingine, ku invest in myself na vitu kai hizo. Lakini before niko na feel nafanya ni prioritize wa sengine before mimi. Kwanza ikifika hizo vitu za familia. Eh. Una feel tu unafa unafa kutumia tu buda yako tu do. Una feel eh unajua mtaka kuko fit. Mm. Una, unajisahau manze, una unasahau ku invest. Unatembea tu na kitu meraruka uki you black tax imekunyorosha hii town. Uko na pesa lakini una inaingia gaka imetoka bwana ni eh 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 mi so mnajaribu so, kusema vile vile msame bring you up ina 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 impact sana maisha yake kisha kwa adult very ukushua si yeah. msame mwenyewe unaamua at some point kuna hizo decision unafaa ku make uh, as an individual but kuna an aspect of your upbringing yenye ina affect who you are as a person kisha grow up Ju kama mi na feel making decision imekuwa a, a great setback kwa life yangu. Ju na feelingi budango alikuwa msewa kama tunaenda hivi tunaenda. Kama ni issue ile unaenda. Hakuna cha oh issue ile watu wanapigwa, issue ile sio watu wanafanya nini kama ni issue ile ni issue ile. So uh, many a times in important constitutions yenye niko na too much to handle sijui ni decide what. Sa, oh uko na prefer budako akuliza unaweza nataka kwenda shule gani? as in kama angen grow isha hivyo ile design yenye we can talk me and my dad to agree enye design yenye issue ile na feel iko hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi ingekuwa better jo ningekuwa najua kwa life kuna time yenye kuna decision wa fuck make lakini alikuwa anasemanga tu ni hivi so time na grow the more anakuwa distant na mimi decisions But, zangu zina zina take long me to make au feel au feel kama pia unajua kama mzazi uambiage mtoto sasa leo unafundishwa decision making as in hakuna point kama hiyo una get mm. like uh, ndo maana wanasemaga watu hii mara mingi what they learn is what they wanna learn kitu wanaona mm. una get like hapo ndo wana notice ah okay kumbe sukari na kaka kwa chai ama what what happens blah 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 so na feel kama in, in, mzazi wako mzazi wako point yake ya parenting ilikuwa we wanted when you make decisions Jo na mara mingi kuna decisions zingine zenye hatuwezi get mzazi until you grow ama until you fikia hiyo point alikuwa maybe alikuwa na decide when they shule ju for real now for now issue ndo nimefika nimepata nime and uh, hii ndo inaka suitable according to maybe financial situation yake ama anyway mind situation yake akamua hivyo na get so na feel ni zile tu flani labda alikuwa ye em yake ilikuwa wewe learn na kitu anafanya see you feel amekumekiwa decision na ni hivyo na ni hivyo mimi na feel moment tunadanganyana hapa hivi hakuna kitu kama ku learn sema tu kweli jo hata mimi situation yangu pia ni same na kaya dan mzazi ndio umek decision unanipata au pay chance ya kusuggest ama nini sisi sema ati walikuwa wanafanya wakijua ati una learn kitu mimi na feel shida ni poverty <laughs> poverty umaskini yeye na ni kweli anatamani ya kuuliza uende shule gani lakini tuseme hii usemestare school fees labda wanalipa 100 pata muta hata du lakini na feel kama as in as a kid hiyo ndio point yangu as in kama sasa hizi tuna notice hivyo ju tumekuwa wa big yenyewe wazazi ju hiyo ndio ilikuwa fact wazazi wetu wako in poverty ah, so sema, at, at, unasema kwa hiyo lawama ju akidecide hivyo ame decide ju situation yenye ako analyze hivyo ju mfuko yangu ya lao so utaenda huku nasema hiyo ni mimi nimesema wewe umesema ati ni ju anataka kufunza kitu sijui decision make akakula kitu kai hiyo nilikuwa nilikuwa najibu hii point ya Dante ya ku, ku mzazi wake alikuwa ana, ana decide vitu mingi hakuwa na chance ya ku decide kitu anataka si ni hivyo ulikuwa unasema mm. yeah, so hiyo ndo nilikuwa nasema mara mingi tunalearn na ku observe kwa hiyo ku check hii oh so kama mzazi alifanya hivi na mshamii kwa situation nafaa kufanya kitu almost same to this so hiyo ina maana the time when mdogo nafaa ku learn hivyo eh yeah, azini hiyo hiyo ndo structure ya ku learn so mtoto so, ndio learn hivyo yeah so ulikuwa na learn hivyo Yeah I feel so. Ah, Watu wangu wako na nivo Watu si wajinga bwana. Watu si wajinga bwana. Watu si wajinga bwana. Kwa sababu ni kavita mimi na Obama. Wewe ndio una mandazi. Hakuna. Hakuna. Ndio yupo ndani ana la nini? Hakuna. Abu angalia, atulia, tulia. Ukiwa mdogo ulikuwa unajua mimi ni decision making. Eh, asiko anajua. Wewe fala so una kitu Unajua kula mimi ni kitu imaanisha uifanye. Uwezi learn kitu ujundo maana ukianza shule ukisoma una mbiwanga kwanza what is biology. Mm. Uwezi anza kula ndo maana Monty ukiingia form 1 uwezi anza kula biology na ujundo biology ni nini? Very true. Hiyo ni place uko na uko na mwalimu mwenye kazi yake ni kufunza unakaa chini so biology what is biology eh. but kwa life hakuna msana wakacha chini anakuambia now alcohol what is alcohol you can drink it through the nose teeth as in in life vitu zi happen 
what you do is you adapt with the way they do happen hiyo unasema saa hii lakini usidanganya tukio mtoto naomba mimi ni yangu ati ulikuwa sijui unajua decision making ati hapa hapa hapo buda ananifunza decision making yeye amenipiga kofi yeye ananifunza decision making nafa kulani nikipigwa kofi nafanya kitu nimwambie Trevor ndo maana nilisema time to me grow ndo tuki look back tuna notice kumbe huyu mzazi ile time alikuwa anafanya hivi alikuwa anamaanisha hivi na hivi so in the in the long run already uli learn lakini si nimekuuliza ukachukia tu unajua point yake point yake ya kufanya learn imekuwa imekuwa successful so you should sure uli learn ndio point yangu time mingine hata alikuwa time mingine hata alikuwa na release anger so si nime define ndo kaelewa hakuna we sasa uliko na land decision make na ujuku bonga Gazin uju kujeka ongea okay, land kwanza kuongea sema hivyo kabla usema hivyo <laughs> what siongelee kama unanyonya wasu ulisamukia mtoto sindi ufala kwani ukio mtoto ni ukio na nyanya peke yake si nine months peke yake ni time umeanza ku interact na dunia nani alikuwa ni how old specify wewe ama sisi nani alikuwa anapiga story nani alikuwa specify ungeuliza kama ulikuwa na filiko specific mwanda wazimu mtoto ukishasema mtoto hata akiotoa hospitali akianza kulia ni mtoto mm-hmm. Lakini nafeel hiyo unafunga akili. Hiyo point yako ya poverty ni kweli. Unajua kitu tunasema tunafunga akili. As long as hajafika 18 ni mtoto true or false? Yeah that's true. Bas so and, specify. And, and that's why pia uwezi sema sasa ati mtoto ni mtoto ananyonya peke yake. Mimi naongelea time umeanza ku observe dunia. Huko sema hivyo. Sasa nimekwambia. Saa hii alafu hey. unakuja hapo unapiga kelele na my son. Decision maker hakuna kitu hapo. Shida ilikuwa poverty. Eh, Umaskini. Shida ilikuwa poverty. Jumia feel kuna point yenye kama time yenye parents wangu walikuwa na wana dispart kidogo. Time tunakutana wanapata mtoto mwingine. Time. <laughs> time mama yangu na babangu na kutana tena. Hiyo ni poverty tena. Hiyo ni poverty. Kwa sababu mko ngapi kwa hiyo kitu tulikuwa sita. Unaona alikuwa holy huko. Unajua lakini mbona yuko anasema ni kweli? Wa sita ni wenye sita najua. Unaona alikuwa anaita mama yako time zenye mwanja msimepita pekee. Ndio maana kila time nilipatana nilikuwa na mtoto. Unako shida hata si wasikipiga. Dressman likimpiga ndo anamuita. Dressman likimpiga ndo anamuita. Alikuwa na mashida tu za racket. Ai babangu babangu celebrate. Mimi nilikuwa na feel as much as pia tunakelea kwa wazazi la wama lakini vile tuna grow up na wazazi parenting inasaidia sana mzee. Mm-hmm. Even though na feel ni a person's job to decide mm-hmm. but nikiangalia generation ina grow up sai. Na sisi sema si ni wazee ati waswali grow kitambo mm-hmm. na parents wa kitambo na feel vitu zimechange sana. Hiyo ni kweli. Vitu zimechange sana. Apart from your poverty of which poverty bado iko. Mm-hmm. Apart from hizo sijui decision making na feel vitu zingine zimechange sana. Jupia technology may change, world may change. Na pia ima affect hadi parenting. Mm. Ndio? Eh mm. a lot a lot ju uh, na jaribu kuangalia in terms of hata before mtu yeye azaliwe this much that has been done in terms of oh sijui kuna baby shower oh kuna sijui nini imefanyika oh the kids are taken away and where. Kuna hii nyingine inaitwa nini? ya ba- colors za pink gender reveal yeah as in a lot hiyo ni do mingi sana i feel naweza kuwa invested kitambo liko ngatu nduru kwa nyumba ya nani eh hebu ule msiani bas kijana huyu ako form alafu anaitwa wachungaji wanaomba mambo inaisha kulikuwa na chai ya mtoto mtoto anakuja na umbio mambo inaisha unajua mama yangu ni mama kanisa lazima mtoto apelekwe atakaswe mm? katika ma- maudhui ya kanisa So na feel vitu mingi zime change so far. Na, na lakini na feel hadi hadi in terms of leadership na policies pia zime change. Design squeeze. Nasikianga tu lakini hii sijaona yeah. bado na macho. Juu unajua huku kwetu yezi jaribu. Yeah. Mtoto nasikia mtoto some countries. Kijana ako 11 anaambia mama yake I'll sue you I know my rights. Yeah. Unashangaa ni jini gani nafa yeah. ishughulikiwe jamani. Ukusikia mtoto wako 6th si, grade ako na bunduki kwa bag jini gani pepo ya kofi mm. hii napigwanga kofi opondo mzuri mm. unajikumbusha mm. <laughs> ah! unapigwa kofi mpaka unaombewa msamaha na majirani wewe zile siku rudi pale uko class 4 mm. ingia pale kwenu ambia budako budaka kuuliza kwa ulishaviomba mwambie dad siezi ushaviomba mimi ni mtoto kwa hii nyumba i know my rights <laughs> so mama tuko mlango piga tu picha sahi uko kwa mlango I mean, nasema na, na, na wapata but na feel pia family structures zimechange over time na zika lead to vitu kama hizi tunacheki juu kama kitambo 
vitu kama gender roles zilikuwa real things na zilikuwa in place and everyone had to follow them buda anafanyaga hivi anapata do ama ana sakanya tu for the family analeta the daily bread mukoro korada tu na watoto una cheki bla 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 so squeeze unapata unapata um mzazi mwenye mtoto wake saa hizi anamshu atamsu ni mzazi wenye as a couple au wazazi wako busy kila time So hiyo time yenye fulani wanakuja home ndo anatakwambia mtoto kitu as in time mtoto give a fuck sasa unani ananiambia nini as in mtoto anakuaga na maid kila siku mm. unapata hadi mtoto anaanza kuita maid mom unacheki jua kutoka kio mdogo mokoro wake alikuwa anarakisha tu kurudi job mm. alipata mtoto hii anataka ku recover pa arudi pale hivyo amaacha mtoto tu mtaso anakuja tu kila jioni ati ameka maziwa kwa fridge na green na wewe juko kwetu so, kuna mtoto hiyo structure na change vitu vitu sika kitambo kuna mtoto kuku kwetu ako na accent ya kiluya Jumaid ni Muluya so ana muongelesha anga kiluya eh na si Muluya eh mtu si hiyo nyumba si ya Luya sijuni wa Meru ama nini what Meru anaongea kiluya so the the house help now kunja yangu ndo Muluya na anakanga na mtu hii sawa apparent sawa watu hii wanaenda kama two weeks ama wanaenda kama one month ndo anarudi mtu hii tu pale vanzia ameongea tu kiluya tu ni peko chai na ni meru ju ameka sana na huo made mpaka anaongea tu kama na waishi meru na waishi na waishi kwa luya pia uko sio usi mtatambia mama yake hiyo made ni influence ju kwa hiyo made na atakuwa na hiyo respect eh huyu manzee huyu ni majiji lakini watu unaona hata sasa hii kama una grow under maid kuna niko na jilea wewe peke yako na get you made a kupe hiyo motherly love yako job i i know kuna hiyo part but remember uh, Kenyans unajua Kenya wacha tu nikwambie like a majority of us yet to me see ni civilized sana eh, most of us ni washamba unaenda si hivyo una get eh? so unapata maid uko na yeye <laughs> wewe ni ngombe unapata maid uko na yeye si azina na ako na ako ako na hiyo wa Afrika ndani yake like eh hey, mtoto una get like ana care for them like really una get kuna 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 situation zenye maid amefanya kitu mbaya bla 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 zi wape yes but unapata kuna mtu fulani mwenye maid alikuwa na msho hiyo true love una get you made maybe ni mkoro tuseme alikuwa na watoto uh, ana, anafanya kazi na watoto wake wa waendele kusoma chuo una get so hii love fulani anafaa kupewa watoto wake ako hapa na mtoto wa mwamdosi hata mm. mshoyo affection una get ako hapa na yeye kila time ana ana mu encourage una get juu mm. yeye pia amesha cheki huu mkoro ayuko rada sana na ama tu maid anataka mdosi sorry kuna hiyo part <laughs> love anataka kuwa mama mdogo unaweza pata lakini kuna time mama wangu alikuwa maid na kumbukanga alikuwa media mother fulani alikuwa ngana ka shop huko mtaani tukishingi kario bank yeah. kuna part inaitwa ga eh gedembe ni bez flani before mama wangu anza saku za changa kuna mother alikuwa gana shop hapo so mother wangu alikuwa anaenda kwa kije huyo mother anafanya job zote za keja alafu anakamna na huyo mtu huyo mother saa kuitu unapata okay. eh so inaka ni kama tu mama wangu wako tu si wote tunaweza cheza pamoja na vitu kama hizo yeah, so kuna fila tu eh sasa amefanya tu ni kama mother yake alafu kuna time tunamrudisha hadi huko kwao yeah. na kaka kidogo so iko kwa inakata mother wangu ni maid kwa hiyo keja kweli Mm. Jo hadi hadi na feel where as a person do you decide to choose maid especially my and take care of your child how to choose mse mwenye ni young in sana mm-hmm. uh, you'd you'd prefer as a parent you'd prefer someone mwenye already ako na hiyo mm. ako kwa hiyo level ya parenting yes. mzee eh jo wetu alikuwa anga wazee mm. <laughs> kama nani hizi <laughs> <laughs> vitu pia na depend unachukulia hizi vitu sikuwe sikuwe mtu una jump into anger don't be quick to anger don't miss kwa na mi siwezi kumbuka hizo instances ni kwa mdogo sana lakini alikuwa tu mnono na mzee hiyo <laughs> nakumbuka mm. mtu anaweza kumbusikia joto kwa nini alikuwa ngana mpendanga na na feel pia hizi 
vitu kai za kulea mtoto na nani wengine mm. nasikia wewe ni mmeru na anaongea kiluya mm. pia ndio factors zinasumbua tu wase hadi sai wase wote msemo yameka na mama yake na, na babake mm. na msemo yamelelewa na nani na msemo yamelelewa na msemo na single parent au patani mm-hmm. wote ni what breed kuna, different kuna ka impact flani kana leta kwa maisha yao hizo hizo places wali grow up mm. kuna vile wakika kwa room moja uwasikize same to same okay hata iko walikuwa kwa environment same true anipata mm. ukiwa na wazazi wote wawili una get both sides mm-hmm. your father na mother figure mm. ukiwa na mmoja una miss mmoja mm-hmm. ukiwa na nani haupati your parents sasa at all mm-hmm. anipata mm. unaanza kuiba traits za unani true ndio maana anaongea kiluya huyo mtoto <laughs> Mimi check on Twitter. Mimi check on Twitter juzu kuna madam anaitwa Gemini aliandika keeping a baby when you are not financially stable and letting them go through traumatizing experiences from being poor is unfair. Thoughts. Ebu hiyo story umesema tu saa hizi yenye tumetoka kuongelea tu saa hizi. Unapata uh, wase wengi wenye wako financially stable. Mm. Yes wako wako financially stable but at what cost? Mm-hmm. Unapata huyu mse ni huyu mse fulani maanaachia nani? mto hiki la time bado mm. una get so na feel pia hiyo kuna positive part to it of which kuna msanaweza kwa kuna time ya kwa na mtoi wake ama vitu kama hizo mm. basa pia kuna um si mwenye yesa kwa financially stable but there's zero time mm. with the kids zero time at home so inabaki bado at, at, as much as unasema unafaa kwa financially stable mm. ndio upate mtoto na feel inafaa kuwa more of mentally stable ndio upate mtoto financially, financially stable mentally stable ni kusema nini as in mentally stable na manisha unajua what's coming as in you know uh, niko na ina hii i need to handle then it then what do you do when it gets there see at, at least una, umesha panga like you know you know unajua point yangu ni unajua what's at stake you understand because you can be financially stable but bado uwezi pia mtoto wako the best life mm. ni nini pesa yezi peana jamani So But, uko sure person za person za raise mtoto wako Mama, pesa peke yake. Si, kwani nani si analipwa? Sijakata analipwa, sijasema alipwa, sijasema anafanya bure. Mm. Nasema sio ni pesa. Hiyo ni pesa. Mm. Atalimea ama atamea. <laughs> Kuna mtu anaitwa J J J J Slave. <laughs> alisema, alisema babies should be planned. It's not even about financial stability. Yes. It's about having purpose yeah. and following through with it. That's that's, 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 that's exactly my point. Sasa having purpose. Exactly sawa. my point. Uko na purpose Monty. Mm. Dante uko na purpose you want to have a kid. Mm. Una hata shilingi mfukoni lakini purpose uko nayo, si ndio? Mm. Umepanga vizuri nataka nipate mtoto na nifanye hivi na nani na nani na nani, si ndio? Mm-hmm. Mtoto amekuja. Mhm. Ehe. Mtoto tu kwanza hospitali. Acha nikwambie kitu moja kitu yenye hujapata unajua kitu ina happen nyingi inakoga gani we change the uh, backbone of relationships for us to as in to grow differently acha nisikize in terms of sayu umepata na msupa umelewa ni usiku meenda eh hey, kwake unajua women are emotional people yeye yeah, ameenda anadhani sasa ni love msanii amenipenda kwa giza mnaenda mna kiss alafu asubuhi namwambia bye hujui kama ameenda na boli au kumeplania si ndio anakupigia simu after one month anakuambia by the way unajoniaje niko na boli yako hii kila kitu kwa life yako inataka tu kuchange automatically huko umearrange huko umeplan hii ni time sasa wewe una feel ukiweza muita aishi na wewe kwako itakuwa much better than wewe kutumanga do unapata mm. so inamaanisha hapa umepata bibi bila wewe kutaka so hii ni one night stand ime turn into marriage naweza kuambia kitu unaona mbona si agree na mental na fina, nasema ni financial mm. umesema kwa hii situation imemhapenia hako ameplan anything mm. ndio mm. sinamaanisha hii patiamento lakuna eh patiamento lakuna hako ready finance pia kuna pia patiamento hapo hako ameplan anything so sure, sure, uko sure kama uko mentally upright you can do anything in your life mnajaribu kusema ah. kama uko mentally upright unaweza fanya unaweza fanya deep sasa mentally upright zimetoka api kwanza hii jina mental no to pair tena mm. sayu unaikata as in point point yangu ni hadi ni pia ukwe financially stable lazima ukwe mentally stable yeah. unaona wenda wazimu na pesa na u boy <laughs> wameokota una <laughs> zindi <laughs> about <laughs> finance anaweza buy diaper wewe huwezi buy juu kwa na mental <laughs> sasa una mental ni nini as is kujua kuna kicho kubwa lakini ni get ya kufunga eh eri kwe kubwa hivyo na finance mm wewe yako iko ndogo na mental bila finance tu na hata mtoto lakini point tunasema ushesikie ile ile script unasemaga ukizanyanganywa kila mtu do kwa hii dunia the rich and the poor wafu turudishwe nil nil tuanze kupata do the rich will still be rich yeye ni ukweli ushesikie hiyo kitu yeye ni ukweli kwa sababu ni kwa sababu ya reason moja mindset niulize why mindset the mental state of mind hiyo ni kitu ya maana sana so sahi kwa sababu ya mindset ni jibu acha ni jibu niulize why 
the rich will still be rich. Why? Alikuwa rich kwa hiyo previous life tukanyang'anywa tukapewa fresh, si ndio? Si ndio? Mm. Bado the rich watakuwa rich. Eh. Anajua pesa. <laughs> Kujua pesa ni nini Trevor? Knowing money, finance na accounting. So uko sure watu wanaga do hawajui do. Watu? Watu wanaga do hawajui do. Hawana do kwanza. Eh, so hawajui do. Eh, ujua una. Ukisha you know? kuwa naye utajua. Oh God. Lakini Fra- eh, Frank, huu <laughs> unachafu. Exposure, exposure ni kitu ya maana. Ukishajua do, exposure ni kitu ya maana. Unajua do bro. Wewe ndio una. Mimi kuna time nilikuwa unashika kama tau tano lakini unafikiria tu kule. Juu sasa uko nje tu kwa sababu ya kwanza. Eh, na hiyo ndio Domingo shaishika. Domingo shaishika tau tano. Ukishika unaenda. Ndio maana mimi nasema kuna the mental part to it. Juu hiyo sikulishika tau tano enyewe ukasema uka, uka wacha tu kule as in unahitaji hii unahitaji hii kitu iko ndani ya akili yako yenye itakufanya upate do wengine mingi hiyo ni hiyo mental state yako as in ukiwa mentally fit ndio unaweza pata hadi do juu kama uko mentally fit hauna hata information unafaa kupata hadi do sikia sasa mwenti kuna as in you cannot do anything without kitu, being upright kuna, kuna kitu inaitwa common sense so hiyo ni nini iko kama tako tulia tusikie sasa umeka serikali unaona you are not mentally upright <laughs> kuna common sense hiyo ni ya kila mtu hiyo ni yenye unajua asubuhi unafaa time kuna baridi unafaa uvae sweater time kuna uko njaa unafaa ukule si ndio lakini kuna ukianza sasa ku go detail ndio hiyo part yenye kama mzazi angekufunza pesa ukiwa mdogo time una grow ungekosha zoea pesa unajua hii pesa nikipata kama tao kuna venye anazalisha ikuwe tao mbili turudi nyuma tumalizane turudi nyuma tumalizane so kati ya mtu ako mentally upright mtu mwenye ako, ako na hiyo mindset na mse ako na hiyo finance ako financially stable so who would be a better parent nianze mimi mm. finance eh uh-huh. si wote ni explain maanza <laughs> nataka kusikia yule kwanza oh, kwa explain finance <laughs> why kwa nini huu mwenyako financially stable anaweza lipa mwenyako mentally achunge mtoto <laughs> jumain sisi atu aliyeka lazima learn from zazi <laughs> Trevor unafunga kichwa sasa nata ah hiyo series ana make sense it doesn't make sense ujaona mtu ana do analipa analipa wase it doesn't hata ni kupe example ujaipata ujaiche kimse yako na do yako na company alafu ana employee accountants wamsaidie kufanya hizo balancing and shit Unjangu ni Jaiona na ma explain bado ni jibu Jaiona naweza ongea sasa naweza ongea sija maliza basi niongee Ushaiona hiyo si ndio mm. sasa ukisema ukisema it makes sense unamaanisha ka ushaiona hiyo sasa naweza ongea sasa eh mm. point yangu ni hata kama uko na hiyo do but uh, uko in the right state of mind inamaanisha hata aujui what's right for your kid number one. aujui what's right for your kid mm. aujui nini kwa plate yako sasa hizi aujui what is at stake ni do hata niongee Inamaanisha hiyo time yenye unaenda kupata huyo msiana fa kuchunga mtoto pia you will not ndo maana nimesema kwa sababu wengi wenye wamekuwa ma, ma parents ni rahisi time ya kuchagua mtu wa kuchunga mtoto wake achague msi mwenye ashaikuwa na watoto ama msi mwenye already ako na hiyo motherly love kwa sababu ya nini ile time alikuwa anapata mtoto alikuwa anajua ako na nini at hand she or he was mentally stable for the uh, situation uh, at hand but um simanya ayuko mentally stable but ako only financially stable you could be financially stable but would you what's right for your kid ni so, kwela mani uongo so you're trying to say ni kwela mani uongo kwanza lakini hukujibu yango hata mimi nimekujibu na hii <laughs> hii nilikuwa nakujibu so you're, you're trying to say wase wote poor hawako mentally upright sijasema hivyo mimi nauliza nauliza ah zi sijaribu kusema hivyo then sasa unasema nini Sijasema hivyo mimi nasema sijasema. Tumesema huwa finance ata fail jua yuko mentally so aizi elewa mse anahitaji si ndio. Mm. So at the end Qu- of the day mentally upright ni kitu ndio priority. Question ilikuwa go back to the question do you unajibu nini? Question ilikuwa kati ya mtu wako financially stable na mtu wako mentally stable nani anazalia mtoto vizuri? Hiyo ndio ilikuwa swali. Nikajibu financially stable. Yes, ukapea yeah. na reason yako? Eh nikapea na reason yangu. Okay, mimi nimekuambia reason yangu ni kwa sababu msemo yako ako my financially stable anaweza kuwa ko financially stable but also they could not be mentally stable to know what's right for the kid mse mwenye anaweza kuwa ko mentally stable at least they know what is right for the kid hiyo ndo kitu nasema ju ukiendelea kutekita nyingine tunaanza kuwa na breed ya wase fulani wenye hawako na the right parenting kwa sababu all the parents did ni kukuwapo juu ya do kukuwapo juu akona do 
kwa mzazi si all about money yes money is a do as a as a factor ni an enabler ina ku enable kufanya vitu una get as in do same do see happiness but no do ina kufanya ufanye vitu kadhaa there's maybe there's a ku bring happiness una mm. get so do ni enabler but mindset ya kutumia hii kitu ina ku enable kufanya vitu iko kwa kichwa wako so you, if you don't have the right mindset haitakusaidia ni kuuliza ukigrow ukiwa mtu hii sahi as you see kati ya mzazi wako kuwa emotionally present na angekupatia do gani ingekuwa better angekuwa emotionally present ningekuwa better mzazi wangu akuwa kuwa emotionally present na mimi uh, kitu mimi selevi ni uko na mental state yenye kwa pride ushajua what's right for your kids ndio mm. ushajua mtoto wangu what's right for him ama ha ni kwenda na good school yenye nafunza good morals ndio mm. good school eh fee ni mm. 60k per term hauna mm. finance niambie vile wewe kujua the right state ya mtoto wako vile itamsaidia <laughs> Trevor nijibu tu hiyo na kujibu eh mm. Trevor uh, we have for example kwa watu kutumia shule vile umesema shule hata ni short ni swali yangu nataka jibu yangu ikuwe fupi eh nataka tu jibu wewe uko na mental state unajua the right thing for your kid so tuseme for example she find out the right thing for your kid anataka a home a home penye both parents are there ana live life going to a good school with good morals ama maybe church na hizi zote zinataka finance. Tell me unasaidia mtoto wako. Vinyo umesema for example kwa shule. Kwa shule kuna shule kuna shule yes do yake si mingi but iko ni the right ni uh, school for your child. Kuna shule iko na dom iko na do mingi but pen the right school for your child. Kama unajua what's the what's right for your kid that is kuwa mentally upright you know where where your kid anaweza pata kitu quality so in this situation ishasema ushajua hiyo quality ni 60k mm. eh. hauna mm. eh. sasa si mindset yako inakuonyesha unafaa kufanya patafuta do si unaenda kutafuta job juko so, na mkid sasa utaenda kutafuta job many people many people find purpose after kuna kuna, kuna research ilikuwa imefanywa ilikuwa inaonyesha like uh, i think in, in america like uh, 23% of the parents when you have watu hii uh, kama wa expect ilikuwa tuseme by accident let's call it accident after hiyo the, their their life it can take another turn they had to be more financially stable ina maanisha nimse ali have kwenda kutafuta job nimse ali have to get back to his shit nimse ali ali come back yani aka akamwa kule mse uh. so wezi niambia itakuwa impossible as long as you do the right thing for your kid ina maanisha utatafuta hiyo do kupata mtu huyu utafanya kila kitu you ndo maana mzazi wako ili adedi lakini usiguzwe mtu hii mtu hii ni kama ni kama bet inaweza why inaweza 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 ongelea sikia unaona kama hiyo story unasema kuna much more stories kama recently kulikuwa na hiyo story nyingine tulikuwa tunapiga ya kulikuwa na ule madam mwenye alipata mtoto after amepata mtoto na bwana yake si ndio alafu alikuwa anapeleka huyo mtu hii sasa akae na madha yao si ndio lakini madha anasema ajezi leo mtoto mwenye si wake kama atamletea pesa ya kukaa na kwa mtani na sijui nini ilikuwa vitu mob okay. anaitisha na yeye ni parent wake una get na anasema akipeleka mtu huyu kwa daycare itaongeza expenses lakini yeye anataka what is best for the kid unapata so atakuwa hapo emotionally, emotionally present lakini atakuwa hapo financially present so so ndo tusaidia situation tushajua shida kuna financial na sijui emotional me ni peyo yako yenye umetetea sana mental upright mental uprightness <laughs> tujaribu kusema emotional mental plus pamoja na finance <laughs> zote zinahitajika for bringing of a kid. Like Kubaliane tu zote zina ni ni ni, sure. ni, ni two way traffic. Mhm. Uh-huh. Uwezi miss moja. Okay. Na ndo penye kulikuwa na shida kitambo labda. Uh-huh. Kid dada zangu mtansame. Uh-huh. Nika kulikuwa na shida kitambo. Kulikuwa na hiyo mind but finance haikuwa. Sasa shida ya siku hizi na filter na zote ziko. Bas sasa watoto ndio shida walai ufil ufilika squeeze ufilika squeeze kuna do ni mindset ndo shida actually ni hivyo ni hivyo na hii do imeongeza hadi social media technology no wonder squeeze kuna gen z's unasikia unajua anga gen z's manze mm. alafu wengine ni wazazi i think anakwambia acha mtu takume anataka ga hivyo <laughs> inamsaidia ndio ana mea man <laughs> niliambia kuna base nilienda nikachinjio sahani juni ya mtoto <laughs> Azin walikuwa wamenisaa food na kula mtoto akaamka kwa usingizi akaanza tupulia sanyangu eh sanyangu eh kitoto kila 
Wacha ni kwa sababu wakanyang'anya sana bwana. Alafu Genzis kama uko na mtoto, unajua mimi ni best yako, najua we are we are young parents, ndio. Mm. But umekuja kwangu mtoto wako anamwaga tu vitu kape, carpet yangu tu. Mm. Alafu nasema tu ati baba acha kufanya hivyo. Anapenda anga za kuchafua carpet. <laughs> Zinatufanya kitu. <laughs> Zinampunguzia anga trauma. Hapana bwana, mlewa toto vizuri bwana. Ama mrudishe kiboko. Lakini this is the hard, hardest time ya kulea mtu wewe. If you're not ready to have a kid, don't have a kid. Alai. Ndako advice so. As in say you of, kuna ex, watu wao ku expose to a lot of information design yenye uwezi danganya mtoto tena ni watoto ubaiwa. Mimi na feel uh, regardless as, wazazi wengi usema siku hizi kuchapwa ni system ya kitambo kuchapa mtoto. Eh times have changed I know na understand times have changed. Things have gone social media is here unanipata. Uwezi mkazia TikTok mara kwa only fans ame follow cuz ji nani pusha T. Sasa mimi na feel kama sasa ume plan kwa mzazi lazima ubalance zote hakuna yenye nalegea ukiamua unaenda na system ya sasa hivi the world iko mm. pia kiboko unaleta ya kitambo mm. discipline ya kitambo unaleta unaleta finance ya sasa hivi unaleta emotions mental lazima ubalance mm. sasa hivi hakuna kulegeza na hiyo ndio kitu na feel tuna tuna mess nayo juu tu hivyo umesema tunafa kuleta kila kitu pamoja ukicheki kama tuseme wasee wengi majority wako na wazazi au oh, ongelea wazee wa design ya unajua mzee wangu anafikiria tu kwa watu wa kitambo but huyu mzazi anajaribu ku pull off everything anaweza ndio akurekebishe uka straight una get juu tunasahau yes kuna hiyo kuendelea imekam but huko bado ni Africa mokoro wako bado anaweza fuata prophet tu fulani na as in, bado kuna hiyo african mindset lakini okay. have, a, have a kid when you're at the right space to have a kid ndio yeah, maana yeah. utakuwa there emotionally utakuwa hapo financially utakuwa hapo as mtampatia hizo vitu zote hizo 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 zinaitwa ngaje mabawa yeah, utampa hizo I, 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 yeah, I get... utampa hizo wings zote unahitaji kumcover time yenye kuna ngori I, i get what you're saying but nikakumbuka kuna kuna mse alisema sasa zingine there is no right time to do anything there is mse kuna time hey, kuna chuo bro wezi tu kuna for example man. take take your concept ya 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 mtu hii you take have mtu hii ju you young unataka enjoy life ndio then you stay young enjoy nataka kutafuta pesa ni kuwe ready yaku, okay sawa nataka kutafuta pesa ni kuwe ready mtoto. na ni enjoy life that, now that i'm young mm. na bla 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 as in nimalize youth yangu kwanza before mm. i get into kukua mzee mm. but uh, umse yako anasema but sasa zingine unapata Yes umepata umekuwa mzee but sasa pia life ina balance pay time uwe ni mzee maybe ku, unataka ku, kuwa interactive na mtoto wako mm. but uh, since uh, miaka zimeenda you'd prefer to pay someone to do that ama maybe umechoka kimaisha and mm. things like that Acha ni come to moja frank life inanga formula society ndio umetupia pressure ya kukuwa na formula ya life yetu ya after chuo lazima utafute kazi utafute bibi utafute watoto na hizo vitu zote hakuna mm. unaweza unaweza anza na mtoto ndio ende shule wewe <laughs> but but hiyo kitu umesema ni kweli as in <laughs> juu ju, pia si na feel pia sisi pia siku hizi pia kuna formula pia hey. si formula ni mm. usipate mtoto sasa hii yeah. as in pia ni formula as hey. pia kuna hiyo kitambo ya pata mapema ndio ule ndio nini so, so kila mtu aishimesha as in kwa jipange wewe jipange tu wewe jipange tu bora uache kutupigia simu tumie pesa ya daipa mzee kin na mambo yako mimi naombe ukweli taxi imepanda vipi nimeshaipitia supermarket hiyo <laughs> roho hiyo roho ya papas tafuta pesa tafuta doom hiyo emotion mental is a moment itakuja baadaye oh this kudanganye this kudanganye feel it really deep in your heart you know i'm saying dog unacheza squeeze to grade 1 ni 8000 what nilipigiwa picha wako meeting vitabu wanataka ah watoto wanataka tu vitabu tu siji tati ni bro kuna watoto Ona, some of us pesa. na nasaidia mtu mwenye nasaidiana kulea hapana nyinyi ni wale deadbeat ona wewe ndio umeongelea mental up. i'm not mentally right <laughs> all in all point ni venye venye life yako itajipa itajipa tu hivyo as in hakuna msia si kuchocha at formula life nafa kuwa hivi hmm. ndio maana god akikreate kila mtu alikuwa different wewe unatrai kukuwa kama octopus but wewe kama tutazi kuwezi kwa kitu na formula iko ungesoma mtu ungejua hakuna try venye unaweza unacheki nika ile kitu sana unataka kubisha na mbaba moyo amemeki tatijua kwa na msichana kwa meza huyu hmm. alif, alifanya kazi ya mjengo kitamba ka hustle unacheki <laughs> lakini kwa exposure ni kitu ya maana ndugu yangu ndakwambia tu hivyo ukienda ukiona watu wako na pesa na venye wanalea watoto wao utajua uliteswa Mm, mm. so weka tu bidi kwa maisha itapata pesa tafuta pesa utaheshimisha mzuri either way si tunaza naangalia kasi show show na survive na mapera na miwa jua mna pesa either way si tunaza sema vitu mingi lakini pia uko na opinion yako unaweza i comment hapo chini useme venye una feel 
wengine tumelelewa kama wanyama hivi ndio tuna feel labda tume kama ndege eh labda umestuka tumetu mzazi anajua kila kitu ni kiboko hadi kitu imegonga mtoto ni imekupiga hii acha nichape wewe chapa mtoto naumiza mtoto eh si kila kitu kiboko ah mzazi macho umetune nini imekuwa season premier tumeipiga tu vile tumeipiga tu hivyo kama umependa umependa kama hujapenda pole wakad vile amesema wakad 